G'day, welcome back to the channel. You've tuned into the Pedal Picassos once again, but if it is your first time, please hit subscribe, give us a thumbs up, drop a comment in below. Further deep diving into the Boss ME90 uh, Modi FX platform and looking at the modulation effects that are on board. Um, okay, we're gonna delve straight into it. I've, I've got a phaser dialed up here. Um, I won't uh, be going much into the the ME90 software, but I'll go into that in later video. So I'll go basically what you can get here and what you can edit here on the fly on the board itself. Memory mode, manual mode with the press of a switch. And this is showing which effects blocks are on. There's my modulation block turned on. There it is turned off. So I've got a clean compressed tone with a little bit of delay, a little bit of reverb. Bring in the modulation, first effect phaser. You've got controls for rate, depth and effect level, depending on which effect you've got, harmony and or resonance, depending on whether you've got a flanger engaged or some of the pitch shifting algorithms that are in the modulation module here. So, phaser. It's cool. You can go slow. We can go fast. Or somewhere in between. When you're in manual mode, your display here shows the potentiometer value. So I'm at I'm at 50 for this one, 49.50. Up at 61. 39, back at 50. I'm gonna level most of these out at 50 so you can hear just to start off with. That's the phaser. Next one, the flanger. Get your Andy Summers on or radical flanging effects. It's always nice to have a bit of flange. Tremolo. Fast or slow. Chorus. It's a really nice chorus. The vibrato, what do we got? That's, that's gritty. Turn the depth down and the speed. It's always nice to have a little bit of pitch wobble there.
Beautiful. Pitch shift. If you go to a, just a detune effect, bang on halfway, 50, you get a really lovely chorus. But take it down, tone, semitone. So you've got a pitch shifter, yeah? Have it as a straight pitch and take out your original uh, level entirely. Chipmunk territory. So you get fifth stuff. Good harmony work. You've got an intelligent harmonist uh, for keys. So you can go down a third, down a fourth, up a third, up a fourth, uh, fifth, and a sixth. And an octave. And then in key. So an intelligent harmony. That's very cool. Rotary. take on a um, on a chorus vibrato uni vibe It's a really good univibe too. You can have your modulation block set up for a delay if you want. All the way out to 800 milliseconds. All the way back to 10 milliseconds. Now that's really cool. If you want to set up a few delays in this pedal, you can do it. The last uh, patch in the modulations is, is an overtone. Got a, <laughs> an octave-y, organ-y type vibe to it.
for each of the um, the modules in the ME90, that last patch, you can deep dive on the software and you can have the option of another four or five different effects. And I'll show that on later videos. But this was just to show what you can do on the fly with the modulation block uh, in the ME90. Uh, give us a, a comment in below. Let us know if you got one and you're discovering it as well. It is a really, really good bit of kit from Boss. The more I delve into it, the more I really like it as a very, very handy multi-effect um, platform. Given that you've got your amp preamps in there, you've got the ability to load IRs in there so you can plug straight into a PA. There's a bit of monitoring. Take that out. This is your one-stop shop. Uh, thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time on the Pedal Picasso's. Mm -hmm.